Hello, I'm Sophie Bakri and I'm a retinal specialist at the Mayo Clinic in Rochester, Minnesota. Uh, today I'd like to talk to you about a uh, clinical research study the, that we performed in our department. The uh, title of the study is uh, Visual and Anatomic Outcomes of Anti-VEGF Therapy in Patients uh, with Vitreomacular Traction and Age-Related Macular Degeneration. So as a background, it's well known that uh, patients with macular degeneration uh, have less prevalence of posterior vitreous detachment. It's also uh, known that um, patients with macular degeneration have more of an adhesion of the posterior vitreous cortex to the macula. So therefore it makes sense that vitreoretinal interface abnormalities may play an important role in uh, exudative age-related macular degeneration. It could be that the tractional forces on the surface of the macula may make it less likely for um, patients with exudative uh, age-related macular degeneration to respond to anti-VEGF therapy. So we decided to uh, test this hypothesis and we went back and reviewed uh, all patients treated at Mayo Clinic uh, with age-related macular degeneration and anti-VEGF agents. Um, however, pa all pa patients included uh, must have had um, OCT and uh, visual acuity uh, documented at every visit and uh, must have had over one year of follow-up. And uh, patients were treated with uh, what we call a modified pronto protocol, where they get injected when there is fluid on the OCT. So what we found is that all patients, those with uh, traction, of which there were 37, and those with no traction, of which there were 150, all responded to anti-VEGF therapy. So visual acuity outcomes were uh, comparable um, in both groups and uh, central macular thickness reduced in both groups with anti-VEGF therapy. However, uh, what was interesting is that patients with vitreoretinal uh, interface abnormalities needed more anti-VEGF injections per year than those who did not have any traction. So, to conclude the study, um, it became apparent that uh, patients, regardless of whether they have vitreoretinal interface abnormalities, respond favorably to anti-VEGF therapies. But the question for future research uh, then becomes, well, if we can remove the posterior vitreous cortex, um, such as uh, with a treatment um, like ocreplasmin, will it then help reduce the number of anti-VEGF injections that patients require? Now to answer this question, it's going to require a randomized uh, control uh, clinical trial, but it's certainly something interesting that we look forward to working on in the future.